Thanks so much. A violent crash shaking part of a South City neighborhood. We know two people died in a crash. Police say a motorcycle and a car collided at South Jefferson and Utah Street this afternoon. First Alert Force John Kipper hearing from neighbors who say the driving on Jefferson is out of control. I just saw chaos, honestly. <laughs> South City resident Alexandria Owen says she was casually watching TV when she heard a boom Sunday afternoon. It was a traffic crash. Her brother, who lives across Jefferson Avenue, was quickly on the scene. He did try and help with CPR, but he doesn't know how to do CPR, so he's calling me. I'm a CNA, so I was going to go help, but I mean, I got there too late. St. Louis police say two people on a motorcycle died at the hospital Sunday. Witnesses told First Alert 4 off camera a motorcycle was going southbound on Jefferson before smashing into a sedan. They believe the bike was speeding and ran a red light. Police say they're still determining who caused the crash. Busy street, people do not stop at red lights. People are speeding, they don't pay attention. While we still need to know more details about the crash, residents that live along Jefferson Avenue say speeding drivers are on the street day and especially at night. We had two people that lost their lives over some bull crap that could have been aborted if, if they just fixed the lights. Jeannie, who did not share her last name, says she lives and works around Jefferson Avenue. According to her, she's seen too many accidents and close calls, and she wants the city to put up traffic calming measures. I think that today a lot of people care. So if they could just kind of give us some more lights and more stop signs and more speed signs, slow down signs. Now, First Alert 4 has told you about dangers on Jefferson before. Last year, a series of bad wrecks on Jefferson and Russell led to calls for changes. Anytime I'm out here, there, it's dangerous, really. And the Jefferson and I-44 intersection is considered a vehicle crash hotspot by the city. The city is also slated to repave Jefferson Avenue from Shoto to Chippewa over the next couple of years using American Rescue Plan money. City documents do not say if any safety enhancements are coming with the repaving, but Owens thinks people just need to be better drivers. No, I think it's people. <laughs> they need to stop at a red light and look both ways when it's a green light. We say the driver of the sedan was taken in for a blood draw as they continued their investigation. In South City, John Kipper, First Alert 4.